Yeah, yeah. Uh, which film do you think has been truest to your work? Which film has been which film has been truest to your work? To your vision of your work. Um, I think um, the one Tarantino did. I was surprised. That's Jackie Brown. Yeah, it's the wrong Pie. Yeah, but I like. Uh, but I I like the others. But I think that he, he stayed close to the story than I think anybody was surprised me. Because he likes to just, you know, take off. <laughs> okay. Me? Yes. Yes. Um, your dialogue is so exceptional. Do you do anything like read it out loud to hear it or put it on a tape recorder? Or Everybody how? hear that about the dialogue. If Mr. Leonard reads it out loud if he tapes it, or how does he, how do you listen to your own dialogue if that's possible? Well, with, whenever someone mentions my dialogue, that it seems so, say, true, or whatever, whatever, I say to the person, don't you hear things in your head? Don't you hear people talking in your head? That's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> you use that, that you've got. Ah, okay. Hi. Yeah, you mentioned uh, in a book earlier where you felt your style was changing. Around what book, or is there a book where you figured you've hit your kind of current style? Well, by the time I finished the Westerns, because they're all compiled, they're, they're uh, 30 Westerns in one big book, you know, and I think they all pretty much sound pretty much the same. But you'll see that I'm learning something as I went along. But then when I quit Westerns, uh, well, I don't know, it was after that that I finally began to develop what I figure is my sound. And it's, and it's pretty flat, and it's pretty, it doesn't show off at all. It's simple writing. Simple declarative sentences telling the story. I think, at least, I'm proud of Do you have a book that, that you feel closest to, or that, uh, you know, I'm, what, I mean, of all, I mean, I know that's a, it's a kind of, it's a, well, I am a fan. I was going to say it's a fan question. So. I like all my books. Well, I, I, I really do. And when I hear a critic say, well, it's good that finally he came back, you know, like I came back to writing something good with Raylan, for example, that, you know, the ones before weren't as good. I said, where was he? What, what, what was he? <laughs> I thought they were good. <laughs> I don't like all of them. Can you bring the uh, mic over here to Maureen here? I have a question about Raylan. When you were writing <clears throat> Pronto, did you know that you would, did you envision writing the rap? Did you know that you would, um, um, that Raylan would be a character who would recur? Or were you just writing that one book and then later on decided to Yes, that? I was just writing that one book. And uh, I don't think he developed too much in Pronto. Maybe he did, I don't know, I don't know, but I must have liked him a lot to pick him up again, you know? And those were, those were made into movies, television movies. Uh, so. <clears throat> there, there. I, I feel, can you guys hear me? Yes. I feel like your women characters are really, really great women characters, especially for a, a man to be writing women characters, yeah. and I wonder if you could talk about that. There was a woman that I knew with the Detroit uh, News, I think, who reviewed one of my books, and she said that my feeling of women seems to be very close to um, Mickey Spillane. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, where'd she get that? Because they're, they're so similar. But then I thought, I'm going to pay more attention to my women characters. And I did. And then I'd start with women characters rather than drag one in here to the woman in the story. 
who turns her ankle finally, you know, they all turn her ankle. And if you're Western, they all turn her ankle. So, I would start with the woman, and, and I always liked my women, like kill shot. They wanted to change, they always wanted to change the ending to make the guy the hero. I said, no, the girl is the one. And I'm, I'm, I love all that. She's I, one of the ones I was thinking about. I remember her handwriting analysis course that she took, and she changes the way she writes oh, when yeah, she's feeling right. a little she depressed. Oh, yeah, right. She changed her, her yes, yeah. she did. So that, what was the purpose of changing her? <laughs> <laughs> so that she would like herself. <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> did, you, um, did you get anything from your career in advertising that... Uh, no. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, you talked about your research, and I can... I, I read Ray one, and I, obviously you can, you can see it in, you know, the, the background for the, uh, the organ and the ceiling, right? But when it comes to, you know, whether your characters are set in Detroit or they're in Florida or they're in Hollywood or the, the flat style, okay, but it's so distinct, the vibe for each of those cities, each of those areas, and, and the different kinds of characters. And I wonder, do you spend time with some of the kinds of people that you write about, or have you? Has that helped inform your style? I think I probably have spent time with all of them, sure, types of people like that. I don't, I don't remember that I've made up any that um, that I didn't know. You know. I mean, I've known. I've lived in Memphis, Dallas, uh, Oklahoma City, New Orleans, born there, and Detroit. There are a lot of different sounds in all those towns. You know, that's the thing. I love the sound of of speech. You can tell, you know, you just have fun with the yeah. of each of those. Yeah. And yet without any patois right. or accent. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's some patois. <laughs> okay. Over here. Um, you spoke about your rules for writing. I was wondering if you have one or more rules for writing about sex. <clears throat> writing about sex? Yeah, writing about sex was the question. Oh, yes, right. are, are there rules for writing about sex? I don't know, but I think, I think Graham Greene was probably <coughs> the best. And it would be three lines, and it would just sock you. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a great line, always. You don't have What I've usually done in, in sex scenes, I've written them from a particular point of view. And it's from the from the point of view of the of the guy who can't believe he's in bed with this former movie star. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> it's like that. But it's always from somebody's point of view because that's the way I write. It's never my point of view. You don't know what I think. <laughs> Better not to have rules about sex. Yeah. yeah. Right. Any more questions up yet? Yeah. You talked a little bit about your editing process. I was wondering if you could talk a little bit more about that, about editing as you go, and what, do you ever get stuck in going over and over an area, or? Well, I. Well, by the. By the time I've got it the way I like it, the 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 the, the story, the writing. And then Greg comes. Greg comes with lists of questions. And he, and he tells me legally what's going on in the book or what <coughs> illegally is going on in the book and, and, and tries, not, doesn't try to make me change it, but he informs me of the meaning of this particular scene, let's say, from a legal point of view, then I can accept that or throw it out. And I usually throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that would be, you're saying in regard to 
legal issues, but what, um, what about your, in just sort of normal editing process as you're going along and you're editing or rewriting yourself? I think you were more thinking about the actual process of, of how you go about that. Well, if, I, if it takes three pages to get one, you know I'm changing a lot of words. Just getting down closer to what I think is the story, or the story from somebody's <laughs> point of view, is it, it, I don't know how to describe it. It's, uh, I mean, I'm asked questions about how I write, and I think, well, doesn't everybody think this way? <laughs> you know? Why, why, do you want to make it sound like writing? You don't want to make it, you don't want to do that. But how can a literary writer not make it literary? Use words that I feel don't belong in the book because they are not natural to a character. Or they are so natural to the character that who is, uh, who, who's, they're all intelligent people, who is, is he interesting or not? It's like Mary, like Mary McCarthy said, uh, she is separated. What? Where? Where do you go with that? Where do you, you read that in a in a book? Da -da 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 -da, she is separated. You know these people? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it, it is sort of. I would say that like most writers, you're trying to get your words down and get them as clear as possible, but yours is also, it seems like many perhaps, a subtractive method to get to uh, exactly what it is or as close to what you want to say without the, I don't want to say with the least amount of language, but with um, the correct amount of language, which would be less than where you're starting from. Yes? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, I was just wondering, how would you say that the challenges in your career have changed from the, when you first started to, say, the middle of your career to now? From what to what? The challenges, how, how have the challenges in your career changed from, I guess, how they personally affect you from the beginning of your career to the middle of your career to how you are now? Do you mean the challenges in how um, now he, Ms. Blanner, can work with a book because of what's happened in his life and his career, is um, that it? I or? mean, in terms of like, what, yeah, what have you found to be the different challenges in your writing process as you've matured as a writer? And how has that changed and evolved over time? I, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you're right that, that you, you think differently when, when something happens. I read, I, I read a book that I wrote in 79, and I think, where did this come from? I don't even remember the movement in the book and the attitude of the book. I, I don't write like that now. And I think, I want to get back into that. So I, I loved it. I loved it. It was a Western. 79, what was I doing still writing a Western then? You know? <laughs> but, but then I gave it up. I didn't write it. I didn't rewrite that kind of story. Because, uh, I don't know, I, I don't think about, but when, when I start to write, I'll, I'll read old book, older books to get, the, to get the, you know, the rhythm of that kind of, of, of writing. That I, this, is, this is my style. I want to get my style back on the page. And I have to reread something. I mean, it's not that apparent to me, so I have to reread things. And that helps a lot. One more question. Do all the books, or most of them, take approximately the same amount of time to write? They take, well, they used to take four months. Then they took six months. Now they take eight months, nine months. <laughs> Because you don't, I don't want to repeat myself, you know, the same, the same kind of uh, scenes. So it, it, it gets harder, it gets a lot harder now. 
But I'm anxious to do the bill. I just want to, uh, I would, on top of that question, I know there's less, but, um, and not wanting to repeat yourself, how do you feel about writing continual char <coughs> continuing characters? I mean, it, it, is it familiar and easier, or is it more difficult to continue a character? John D. McDonald was, was writing his 28th Travis McGee, mm -hmm. and he said, oh my God, I don't think I can face this. <laughs> you know, everybody's waiting for Travis to show up again. Well, I haven't had a continuing character as such, though I've had people who are in, you know, three books, at least three books. People I like. Raylan's going to be in. My agent says, don't put Raylan in another book because, <laughs> because, uh, the people who do the, the show own it. I guess they do. I don't know. But <laughs> you, we, we won't be able to sell it as a movie when they're using him. They, 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 they own it for all sense of purpose. So, but I say, no, I, I don't care. I like it. <laughs> I like it. I'm going to use it because it's going to be a better story. That's the main thing, write a better story, not I have more control over this character. What does that prove? That's, that's just Asian talk. 